Hey, what's up everybody? Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today is my first video with my new sponsor. It's Disc Golf Deals USA. They were excited to get me back on the roster. I worked with them in the past and it was an absolute joy to play for their team and now I'll be on their team again for the foreseeable future. So the first project they have me working on is the new Streamline Shift. The Streamlines 95-31 fairway driver. We'll be comparing it to the Ascend, which has very similar flight numbers. Um, just a six speed instead of a nine speed. So two very similar discs, but I was really curious to see how does the six speed with the same numbers compare to the same numbers in a nine speed. Curious what our flights are gonna be looking like here at Eastway, hole one, 261 feet. Let's get it rolling. Oh, that's got a nice flight on it. It's a nice little pop-up right there. So that was the six speed. Here's the new St. Jude shift. Ooh, that's very nice and easy turn. Brand new first throw out of the box. A nice crispy turn. You love to see that. So with Disc Golf Deals USA, things will be a little different. I will have the discount code Iceberg TV but I highly encourage you guys to go to my store at Disc Golf Deals USA. It's gonna be the link in the description below. DiscGolfDealsUSA.com slash Iceberg TV. That link will be in the description below. For the foreseeable future, um, that's gonna be the best way for you to save the most money on any products you buy over at the site. And then it also helps me build my relationship with Disc Golf Deals USA. <sighs> Putter's been decent lately, but not perfect. So we'll do a quick gander of the side profiles here. We've got the Ascend on the left, the Shift on the right. Very, very similar discs, um, side profile, like super similar across the board. But this guy, the Ascend, just has very much so a less wide rim. What I found really interesting was for some reason, the nine speed seems more flippy than the six speed, which honestly is kind of the opposite of what I was expecting. We can go big power here on hole two. Let's say they handle a little more sauce. That guy's definitely a hair more stable than the flight numbers would indicate. The Ascend is actually really nice. Very much reminds me of the Innova Leopard. Basically just a streamlined Leopard. Very awesome flying disc so far. Then the shift on that first throw is a lot more flippy. I mean, night and day, much more understable than the Ascend. That's a nice flippy driver right out of the box. Very good disc. All right, again, pretty surprised by how much this Ascend can hold up to some good torque. Let's throw it just nice and flat. Let's just see if it's gonna turn even on a flat throw. That lake flies identical to a Leopard. That's a really nice disc. And then this guy, the Shift, you basically have a 100% chance it's going to turn. Just put it up in the air and let it do what it does. Honestly, it's just like a slightly faster uplink. That's kind of the vibes I'm getting so far. So as of the last recent few years, I've tried out a lot of MVP discs and I find that discs like the uplink and a couple other discs are like super understable, but then a lot of their other discs are super overstable. There aren't a ton of discs that are just like perfectly neutral for the hyzer flips the turnover lines, and both of these discs are doing exactly that. Flying very similar to the Innova Roadrunner for the Shift and the Innova Leopard for the Ascent. But I need to know, are you guys bagging any streamlined discs? I feel like MVP and Axiom are extremely popular, but I very seldom see people bagging streamlined. So far, these discs are really awesome. I don't have a ton of experience with streamlined except for the Pilot. But so far, the Ascend and the Shift are flying really well. Really good discs. That reminds me so much of the end of a Leopard. And I absolutely love the Leopard. Ascend is awesome. And the Shift on this line is going to need a lot more hyzer. This thing really likes to stand up. <laughs> so much hyzer. Pretty much stands up to flat still. We'll probably play the Ascend line, but 
man, those are really fun discs. So the Ascend put us in a pretty good position here. This is actually just stable enough to where I think I can get a little flip up forehand to maybe push down the hill here. Feels very comfortable on the forehand as well. Perfect. Go in. <laughs> That's actually a fire disc. If you don't throw an ascend, I would highly recommend trying one out. Wow, that was dangerously close to going in for the eagle. Um, we brushed just past the basket. We're right on the OB line here. Take my little meter. Hawk flies right into frame. Boom. Inspired by that hawk. Hopefully that was in frame too. That, that was pretty sick. What a fun hole. Nothing makes me happier than throwing a distance driver on a 183-foot hole. Shift. See if we can't smash one in. And then we'll throw the ascend. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> If you're gonna ace it, it's gotta be full power. Oh no, hit it. Whew, all right, that could have been gone forever. All right, folks, it's about to get risky. We're gonna try the forehand turn with the shift. Then we'll do the backhand with the ascend. The only way I'm getting to this basket with this disc is on the flick, I think. Oh, way more stable on the forehand than I expected. That's safe, that's dry, and we're happy. Ascend. Oh, get up there. Oh, hit the last tree. Man, both those discs are flying so good today. Oh, Dylan. All right, hole six is one of my favorite holes on the course. It's just under 300 feet, but dead straight down this tunnel, a classic Charlotte hole. We're gonna make a quick celeb shot. I'm feeling dangerous. I feel like I wanna throw this 40 year old champion arrow just because it's a fun disc. Oh, it never comes back. Oh no, decent shot. All right, we're gonna throw the ascend and then we'll throw the shift, which I think are both decent discs for this hole. Give him the fade. That's such an easy dead straight turnover disc. And I got the shift. Go in. Go in. No, it hits the last tree. That was so perfect. I don't know. I think the ascend is magic because for what I remember, if my mind serves me correct, I grip locked it, went way right. But somehow it's just parked under the basket. I must have got a lucky tree kick after I turned around. We will take that all day long. All right, hole seven, we have two discs for two very different lines. I think the ascend is plenty stable for me to do the hyzer flip forehand up the gap. And then with the shift, we can go with the turnover backhand. See if we can execute two different lines on one hole. I love that disc for those little flip up forehands. That is insane for those. All right, and the shift. Little bit of turn. Nope. Yep. Nope. So far, my thoughts on the shift after seven holes, I think it fits their lineup really well. All of you guys out there who want to throw an MVP Axiom or Streamline driver and get it to, you know, you can throw pro level shots with this disc because it's so easy just to put it up in the air and get it to turn a little bit. It's one of those discs that's so good for beginners. Um, great for players with like intermediate advanced level arm speed like me for those hyzer flips, turnovers. I think you won't see any of the MVP pros throwing this because they probably just throw with too much speed for this disc in particular. But most of us don't have arm speeds like that and most of us need discs like this in our bag. Um, so if you do want to check one out, um, click the link in the description below. And I think the Ascend the Ascend is something I would actually consider adding to my main bag. I always flutter around with different six speeds. I think the Ascend is actually probably a hair more stable than the Castaplast Stig. I know the flight numbers wouldn't indicate that, but so far I'm really enjoying the Ascend a lot. And then I also think the Shift is a great addition to the lineup as well. Got a nice gap right in front of us. Again, we're gonna go forehand Ascend and backhand Shift. 
Just a nice and gentle uphill turning shot with the Ascend. That held the angle the entire way to the ground. I think that actually found its way to Circle's Edge. We've got the shift. Such easy turn out of the hand. Masters players, beginners, juniors, all of you guys are really gonna like the ascent. It is very easy to turn. All right, hole nine, our last hole of the day. Both discs being very great discs for hole nine. You want a nice little kind of pushing stand-up hyzer, a nice sweeping hyzer. You don't want to dump, but you want something that's gonna push forward and fade at the same time. We'll go with the ascend and then one last throw with the old shift. Oh, inside gap. <laughs> that was terrible. All right, hopefully the shift can redeem that. Holy, that was my worst throw of the day. Perfect, that's gonna be inside the circle for a nice little tap in birdie to finish it out. All right, last putt of the day here. Nice drive on hole nine. Hand it off to old Simon with the pixel to tap that one out. All right, guys, the shift. It's actually a pretty fire disc. Really easy to get it to stand up and turn. Um, you can get it on, if you throw it on a lot of highs, you can get it to stand up and go straight. But again, a really easy disc for turnovers, which I think the Streamline, MVP, and Axiom lineup, I think that's really important to this lineup that they get more beginner-friendly discs within the lineup. I'd say this flies very similar to a new Innova Roadrunner. Probably a touch more on the flatter side, but you can see with this type of shoulder here, this really makes the disc really understable. And yeah, I found this disc to be super fun to throw, and I probably think it's one of MVP's most beginner-friendly discs within the lineup, but it's not so understable to where it's not usable. Anyway, fire disc, really fun to throw. Enjoyed using it today. And then the Ascend. Probably one of my favorite six speeds, if not my favorite six speed, right next to the Leopard. I think it's probably a little bit more stable than these flight numbers would indicate. Super fun disc to throw on backhand and forehand, really shapeable, really easy and enjoyable to throw. I love coming out and doing a video with easy to throw discs. It makes disc golf so much more simple, so much more fun to play when your discs are just coming out nice and smooth and easy, getting the shot shapes you're looking for. You can get these discs, the link in the description below. Shout out to Disc Golf Deals USA for sponsoring today's video. I'll see you guys next video and take care.